Hi, everyone. My name is Wayne Pollock. I am an attorney who helps other attorneys engage the audiences that are vital to their firm's success, including their clients, their referral sources, their employees, and the media. In this video, I want to attack an objection that I often hear attorneys make regarding working with outside ghostwriters. And that objection is, gee, I would never outsource or delegate my writing whenever I write a blog post or a bylined article or a client alert. The pushback that I have for attorneys who have that perspective is that they're actually working with internal ghostwriters almost all the time. Most lawyers, when they are drafting a court paper or a letter to opposing counsel, they almost always work with a colleague, normally a, a junior colleague, to prepare the first draft of that document. Oftentimes, the assigning attorney will speak with the person they're delegating the work to. They will outline what they want that person to do, what they want um, the overall feel, the overall theme, the overall narrative uh, to, to be, to feature, uh, what should be prominent, what should be uh, perhaps not as prominent. And then the attorney, the assigning attorney, lets the junior person go off and, and write the documents and then bring it back, bring the draft back to uh, the assigning attorney, have the assigning attorney edit, uh, make comments, and then revisions might be done by the assigning attorney or by the uh, colleague who did the work. And then the assigning attorney eventually approves the work and it goes out and they move on to the next task. That is something that most attorneys uh, are, that, that's a workflow that most attorneys are involved in. And certainly at law firms with more than a handful of attorneys, when you actually have the ability to use that leverage, many attorneys take advantage of the leverage and have their colleagues drafting this material. Well, guess what? That is virtually the same process that attorneys would use when they're working with a ghostwriter. They speak with the ghostwriter at the outset of the task. They work with them and give them a sense that the attorneys work with the ghostwriters to give them a sense of what they want the article or blog post to feature, what direction they want to go, perhaps some highlights they want to make sure are included. This ghostwriter goes off and writes the piece and then brings it back to the assigning attorney to review, get their comments, and hopefully uh, not much else more is needed before uh, the, the document can be published as the blog post or the article, what have you. The only real difference is that when an attorney delegates internally their legal work to a junior person to write, that junior person often uh, is on the brief or on the complaint. They might be the third or fourth name listed, but their name uh, often appears on the document, whereas obviously a ghostwriter who's helping with thought leadership marketing content is not going to have their name on uh, the article or on the blog post. That's the whole point of ghostwriting. But the point I want to make is that it's not a stretch for most attorneys to delegate the writing of something that carries their name to somebody else. As a matter of fact, the attorneys that do this uh, when it comes to their legal work, they do it to free themselves up so they can spend other time working on either more billable matters or perhaps non-billable work-related tasks, or maybe they have some kinds of um, uh, professional commitments outside of work, whether it's networking, whether it's attending an event, or maybe they have personal commitments that they just want to be able to hand off this particular assignment to somebody else to free them up to pursue those professional or personal commitments. It's the same thing when it comes to hiring a ghostwriter to help with blog posts or byline articles or client alerts. The attorney is freeing themselves up by handling or handing off that work to somebody else so that they can handle billable matters, other work-related tasks, other professional or personal commitments uh, outside the office. Most attorneys don't realize that they are actually engaging in some kind of ghostwriting relationship with their colleagues when they ask those colleagues to take the first crack at drafts of documents that those attorneys will have their names on and will be submitting under their names. So when it comes to working with outside ghostwriters, it's actually not uh, as big of a jump as most attorneys think. It's actually keeping in line with the kinds of things that attorneys do on a day-to-day -day basis to stay efficient, to stay as billable as possible, and to make sure that they tackle as much as they possibly can, given the 24 hours in a day they have to do particular tasks. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about ghostwriting, please visit the Law Firm Editorial Service at lawfirmeditorialservice.com. We have blog posts uh, and, and videos and other materials that I think you'll find useful. And again, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Thank you.